If you enjoy my videos, leave me a comment and let me know, and consider subscribing so you never miss a new video. So I'm going to be using the dark purple and the light purple color. I recommend using at least two colors so that you get a nice contrast with this pattern. You can use whatever size yarn and corresponding hook that you like. So we're going to begin with our slip knot. And your chain needs to be a multiple of 18 plus 6. And just keeping in mind that this is going to shrink as you start to work the pattern. So making your chain longer than you actually want your blanket to be or your project. And if you're following along with me, chaining 36 plus 6 for a total of 42 chains and I'll meet you at the end of the chain. So I've made my chain. First we're going to skip the first 5 stitches and work a double crochet into the 6th chain from the hook. So double crochet in US terms, treble crochet in UK terms. Next we're going to make two more double crochets into this same chain space that we just worked. So that we've made a cluster of three double crochets. Next chaining two, skip two chains and work three double crochets into this next chain. So that now we've made two clusters of three double crochets. And again, chaining two, skip two, and make three double crochets into this next chain. So we're getting ready to work a valley. So we're going to be working peaks and valleys so that we get that ripple effect. So to work our valley, we're going to skip five chains, work into that sixth chain, making our double crochet, and two more double crochets into that same chain space. One more. So that now we've got our valley here. So we'll start working back up to go make our peak. So we're going to chain two, skip two, and work three double crochets into the next chain space. Chain two, skip two, and make three double crochets into that next chain space. So always working in clusters of three double crochets. Okay, so we're ready to make our peak. So as you can see, here's the valley, and then here's going to be the peak. So on every third cluster, you're either making a peak or a valley. So to make our peak, we're going to chain three, and make three more double crochets into the same space that we just made our cluster of three. So there's actually gonna be six double crochets into the same chain space. So here's our peak and we'll start working back down to make our valley. So now again, just chaining two 
skip to and make our cluster of double crochets. Again, treble crochets if you're in the UK. Chain two, skip two, and making another cluster. And one more. And again, to work a valley, we're going to skip five chains and double crochet into that sixth chain making those three double crochet cluster. Here we'll chain two, skip two, and make another cluster of three double crochets. So as you can see, it's really easy, and this is actually the hardest row of the whole thing. The next row is even easier because you're just going to work into those big spaces here. So we'll chain two, skip two, and then work our last cluster into that last stitch. So for this very last double crochet, leaving it so that you still have two loops on your hook because we're going to change color. So you want to bring in your next color and just loop that around your hook, leaving enough to weave in your ends and just pull that through to finish the double crochet. Just tug here to, to tighten it just a little. So now with the new color, we're going to chain five. And turn our work. I'll just cut my old color here. So from here, this is where it gets really easy. All we're going to do is double crochet into this huge chain space here. And we're going to make our three cluster okay now we'll chain two and now we just work into this next huge space here making those three double crochets. So we've reached our valley. So when we get to our valley, each time we're basically just going to skip it and work into this next big space here. No chains, just right double crocheting into that big space. Making our three double crochets. So as you begin to work up, this is going to start really pulling down and then again chaining two and working into our next space for our three double crochets. So we're coming up to our peak, so we're going to chain two and work three double crochets into this space where our peak is. Two, three. So to continue with our peak, we're going to chain three and make another three cluster into this same space. Continuing with our next double crochet cluster.
two, three, chain two, and go into our next space. So this is a really easy pattern, great for beginners, and it really makes some beautiful blankets. So again, at our valley, we're literally just going to skip it and work double crochets now into that next big space. Two, three, chain two, and going into this sp next space. Two, three, chain two, and then working our last double crochet cluster into this last space to end the second row. And again, if you want to change your color, just leaving this last double crochet with two loops on your hook, and you can bring in the new color, really easy and simple way to switch your color, and just finish that double crochet, and pull down here to tighten. And again, at the end, you're going to chain five and turn your work, and then just continue that same pattern over and over, super simple so hopefully you guys have a better idea of how to make the granny ripple stitch again consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the little bell button so you never miss a new video